Ellen, Brian just called you an old guy. How are you going to say yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, fair enough. My body feels like it. Um, you know, nine years on turf doesn't do you any good. <laughs> but, uh, no, it's nice because I've obviously played a fair amount of time in this league uh, in, in multiple positions. Uh, so I'm just glad that I still have that, that veteran presence to, to help the young guys uh, kind of come up and, and into their own. We got a pretty nice uh, summer and spring. We got some Seattle sunshine today. How is that in training? I love I love the rain. Uh, I always have, uh, I guess, because I kind of grew up on it, right? But a little, little bit slicker, a little bit more fun. You, you know, you're, I'm like a little kid in there. Like I slide early to make sure it's like a really fun slide. And you kind of just continue to go. Um, so I, I enjoy this. If we had to come to you at the start of the season when you first signed for the Sounders and said that you would be appearing in every single game for the Sounders this season, well, how would you have reacted? Well, I, I'd, I'd be happy, um, just like I am now. I'm excited that I'm able to to contribute in every game, whether it be a start or come off the bench. Uh, it's something I've always prided myself on in my career is being able to, to come off the bench in, in many occasions um, as well as start. And look, it's, it's exciting for me. I think it's a, a pretty cool thing to have, especially back in my hometown and, and uh, to be able to help the team like I am. It's been great. As this comeback uh, lived up to every expectation, I mean, I know we're still, the season isn't over yet, but as it's right now. It's yeah. The, coming back to Seattle is, is continuing to be an incredible experience for me, uh, and every little bit becomes new, more new. You know, I, I, again, I got to see my folks after the game, and that's never gonna. I'm never gonna get used to that. I think that's incredible. Um, the sense of, of happiness and pride that they they feel. Um, I've had some some old and new friends kind of come into the game as well, and and uh, it's it's been exciting. You brought this team uh, in your plate. This certain attitude and edginess, and, and did you? always have that or is it something that just kind of grew into this year it grows with age um with it you know I, I speak to will and we make fun of each other um we're the, we're the old grumpy men um with, with a bunch of kids running around you know get off our lawn kind of thing so uh no look it's it it becomes with gamesmanship a little bit you know uh if i can get into the opponent's head i know he's going to foul me and that waste another minute um it comes in with making sure that with the guys are down and uh you know we're getting maybe getting pumped a little bit uh, can I can I get those guys back and get the excitement going again? Uh, it's not always an actual anger thing. Uh, it may look like it, but I like to think I'm a pretty nice guy uh, sometimes. So it's it kind of just comes with with experience and age. It's it's incredible um, the fact that we were able to. I think we're going to lock up a playoff position, I think, with a win and a tie, if I'm correct, against Vancouver. And I think that's incredible with the amount of games we still have left. I think it speaks a lot of volume to the, the team that we have this year and the amount of depth that we have. Uh, and the fact that we, are, we might be able to do it without five, six guys, not just five, six guys, five, six starters. Uh, I think it's incredible for, for everyone to witness. And, uh, you know, it's, it's exciting to have this run going forward. And we have, well, I think, six or seven chances to do so. So it's going to be uh, a good run for us. Uh, and unfortunately, we had a lot of home games in the beginning of the year, but we're going to get as many as we can towards the end. Any other questions? Philip, I, I know you know a lot of the running. Yeah. And I was just wondering, uh, what do you feel about what's going on with the uh, women's soccer league and the running? What's happening? Yeah, you know, it's a lot of terrible things are happening over there. Um, it's it's a little disheartening to read all the facts. Um, to it's. It's you know disturbing in many ways uh, when you do read the articles and you do speak to the women, uh, and unfortunately it's not the first occasion, and uh, there's going to be many that I'm, I'm guessing come out when you speak to the women in the soccer league. When you speak to women in sports, um, they continuously say that this is not the first occasion. Uh, that's very disheartening. Um, and look, I have a niece, I have sisters. I, I'm. I hope this doesn't continue and we have to make sure, especially us as males, have to make sure that we are listening and believing what these women are saying, uh, make sure we fix our attitude and our um, actions to be so. Uh, it's, like I said, it's very disheartening and I hope it gets the right people uh, come into power in that league and in many other women's sports leagues and it doesn't continue.